Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, whether you've joined this live or see the recording, um, I do appreciate you uh, taking the time out to um, uh, join this uh, Zoom Q&A. Um, I'm putting these on over the next 30-odd um, uh, days really to catch up uh, the people out there that joined uh, the network, the Net Leaders Network, and bought a, maybe a, a small license and have not done anything about that. And I think there's a great opportunity right now to uh, consider uh, upgrading those licenses uh, and or if you're new to the opportunity to have a conversation with me and or the, um, the people on the, the Zoom meeting. So um, it's three days a week right through to uh, the London event. And you'll be pleased to know, Matt, I uh, paid for my ticket yesterday. So you will see, um, you will see me soon. Um, Fantastic. That, yeah, that makes it me yeah, it's great. And I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, to meeting up with um, you and, and Alex and uh, the rest of uh, our team and, and, the, and the wider team, of course. Now, um, as I said, these sessions are free format. They will cover off um, some um, elements that I, I believe to be important. Um, in this particular session, we're going to talk about some of the very fundamentals of the, the licenses and the net leaders um, back office, uh, back office system, I guess. So uh, it won't be a long session for me. Uh, we're going to point you in the direction of this information. And that's really the, the another of the purposes of these sessions is to show you around um, the, the back office, uh, the websites that have this information and let you do the work. I mean, I've been doing this now for 18 months and, and Metin, who's my upline here, we appreciate him being here to support me. Um, we've done this before, we know this. Uh, and when questions keep coming at us about uh, these, these topics, and we picked off a few today, um, of course, we will answer them. We're always here. That's our job. That's why we, we get paid a commission from your licenses to do that. But for some people, the questions keep re being repeated. And I think we just show you where to go because um, there's not just the resources around this topic today. There is absolutely um, loads and loads of information that is there from basically when we started right through to the more recent um, information about... Uh, the licenses and the bonuses and, and some of these things that will change over the next few weeks. So it's really up to you. I mean, at the moment, there's only a few people on this call. And if you share this link out, um, as, as I've asked you to do, it only helps you and your downline team to you know, be more encouraged to do something with this. Um, we're running up to an event that... Uh, in my view, we really consolidate Dascoin in the cryptocurrency space. So, um, and, and if you get yourself set now, uh, the the number of Dascoins coming from a license or an upgrade uh, will be obviously more now than it will be in two or three months' time. So, with that being said, um, I'm going to share my screen, uh, and we're going to just quickly cover off. Uh, this will be in two parts. I'm going to sort of share the the content that I. I uh, believe you should see about these issues around cycles and minting and, and so on. And then I'm going to leave it to, um, uh, you know, again, it's only a small audience, but the audience uh, here to uh, come in and um, either ask some questions or, or point out maybe some mistakes I'm making on some of the detail. So if we're all good with that, I'm going to share my screen. One of the, the best places for uh, most information I find is on the DAS, is on the diamondteam.io website. Now this site is, uh, I believe it belongs to Paul McCarthy, uh, no relation, but Paul is one of the uh, inaugural leaders of the, um, the Net Leaders organization. He's one of our global ambassadors. He and Matusis Guzda, um, commenced uh, 
together um, probably two years ago and have been the sort of the leaders um, that have been roaming the globe recruiting people and talking to people about the network. So their site, um, I believe, is a great uh, um, repository of information that, uh, you know, you can go to, um, to research. The, other, the oh. other side, of course, is, um, let me just get to that, it will be the net leaders site so if we just come into to that this is my account and i've just gone to the education uh, uh tag on the navigation bar to the left and you'll see there uh the basic concepts that we're about to cover so there's two places that i would recommend that you go for this topic uh, but if you research um the the content on both of these uh, websites uh, you'll get to um, the detail you need of course what you're seeing here you'd need a net leaders license to see what's happening on the net leaders side but it's a, a duplicate of pretty much everything else that's been published either on my website um, some of the blogs that I've created and even YouTube videos I've created uh, because it is a YouTube video that I, I did probably uh, it may have been 12 months ago on this very topic. So let's just jump straight in. And as I said, this is content I'm going to provide over uh, probably five or 10 minutes. Then we come back to the audience um, and we then let uh, the audience, you know, you know, free format questions uh, to me and all the, the people that are on here. So let's have a look at, uh, well, let's go back to, to that. Uh, to the official line because um, I'd rather be using the source of tr one source of truth and that of course should only be from the the dascoin.com uh, website or the netleaders.com website because those are the corporate sites that have been updated by uh, the teams that are based I believe in London so <clears throat> if you've um, bought a license or uh, about to buy one the what you're buying is a um, basically a software license that uh, has as, as part of that license um, a number of cycles. Now, that to, to most people, certainly new to this is, um, would be new. Uh, you, know, you know, it's a term that uh, you know, I guess is starting to form in the, in the cryptocurrency world, or albeit uh, the Dascoin organization and, and its encryption technology is probably used or coined, um, uh, you know, back two years ago when they designed the Dasnet system. So let's just have a look at what it says. Cycles are units of stored capacity within the Dasnet system. They can be directly exchanged for network services on Dasnet. Uh, such as encrypted data storage or smart contracts. Now, all of that and, and many more uh, products uh, to come will be available to swap out your cycles um, uh, to uh, get the benefits of those, those, um, those products. So this is not just about uh, buying cycles and converting them to Dascoin, although certainly in the initial stages, that's what people um, are attracted to. Uh, but uh, once you start to understand what a smart contract is and the VPN services, uh, the web applications and all of the other things that are going to be coming down the pipeline, you can exchange those cycles um, for, uh, uh, for those, those services or, or you can uh, hold and, um, and convert those cycles into Dascoin. It's a bit like getting frequent flyer points when you travel. You know, you build up the points, um, in this case cycles, in, in, a, in a flying environment it's points, and you can convert them into product or you can fly with them or, or whatever. So that's kind of a, a bit of a, an analogy of what we're doing here. So those cycles, if you've, uh, if you've bought a license, um, uh, go into a, uh, a minting uh, process. Uh, that's the term that uh, is used as opposed to a mining process, which is in the world of Bitcoin, the way that, um, uh, you know, the, the way Bitcoin um, are produced. There's a, there's a, you know, a, a many number of Bitcoin miners out there that are tasked with solving um, 
you know, complicated calculations that um, give them the benefit of uh, creating uh, Bitcoin. So, um, uh, or earning Bitcoin. So what is the minting process in the, the world of Dascoin? Uh, let's have a look at what it says here. Uh, minting is the process of producing new Dascoin. Okay. We understand that there's 8.5 billion units of Dascoin to, to be produced over uh, the time of, of Dascoin or Dascoin.com. Uh, it's expected uh, that that will happen over a course of 10 to 12 years. Um, we've minted about 600 million to this point in time and we'll have a look at where you can find that information at any point in time. That's uh, I think on the net leaders uh, main website. So that's, that's the number of desk coin that will only ever be produced. Obviously it's a big number, but uh, the, the, uh, the calculation is there to see the mine, the minting process begins with the submission of cycles to the desk net system. Rather than using the cycles for network services, the holders of these cycles choose to submit them to DASnet so that they can be converted to DASCoin. As I said, that's what the majority of people will do. <coughs> the system accepts cycles and then uses them to produce DASCoin. Essentially, the DASnet platform, uh, platform's minting process converts stored network capacity into stored value. Okay, it's a bit of a technical kind of um, sentence. Uh, I don't know that we need to get down into the, the technicality of all of this. Um, this is just a, a presentation around um, the broader concepts, uh, where to find them and so on. But uh, that's how we convert cycles, or how the cycles are converted to Dascon. It's going through a, you know, a fairly sophisticated encryption uh, process that produces um, Dascoin. Now, the... You know, as lo as licenses uh, are purchased and, and cycles are um, uh, are introduced to the minting queue, uh, there'll be a certain amount of time before those Dascoin or those cycles are converted to Dascoin, and that's a function of the the number of licenses being purchased. Okay, so the term frequency uh, uh, is important. Uh, if you've uh, been looking at uh, Dascoin at the moment, the frequency lock is 16. Uh, and this particular factor determines, amongst a few, uh, the number of Dascoins that you will receive if you purchase a license. So let's have a look at what it is said here. Uh, frequency is the conversion factor used in the minting process of cycles to Dascoin. Uh, when I first purchased a license, um, Back in October of 2016, I think Met and we were on around 3.7, uh, and that um, was a reflection, basically, at that point of the size of the network and the risks that we were taking. As of now, as I just mentioned, it's uh, the, the frequency lock is 16, uh, again reflecting the size of the network and the risk um, reducing. Uh, and as I said. Uh, you know, it wouldn't be fair to someone purchasing a license um, today enjoying the same number of cycles as someone that purchased uh, a, a license, you know, back in October. So, you know, you need to understand that this frequency lock will continue to rise as the network expands um, and we go, and, and as we get closer to, to launch, um, I guess the risk factor in this business uh, is very, very small. Okay, so let's just continue on with that uh, um, sentence. As the DASnet, uh, as DAS, as the DASnet expands, a number of positive dynamics occur. Risk is reduced, as I said. The, cir the circle of users widens, and the infrastructure of the system grows larger. Consequently, the value of a unit stored, the value of a unit of stored value, DAScoin, in a system increases in relation to a unit of stored network capacity. This results in more cycles being uh, being needed to produce a unit of Dascoin. This dynamic is, ref is reflected in the increase in the frequency, which is commensurate with the incremental growth of the of the network. So the message here is that um, for those that are taking uh, or have taken the risk, uh, that when the frequency lock and the network was um, small and the risk was larger, they've got um, 
uh, more Dascoin in their in their web wallets than someone that's starting now. But as I said, you're only a few weeks away from seeing this hit the public exchange. So uh, you know you're coming in at a still a great time. Um, the, the the pricing kind of model is still going to be working for you as uh, the public exchange or the public out there in crypto land start to acknowledge the value of Dascoin. Okay, and the final um, element of this in, in today's discussion is um, uh, what is an upgrade? Uh, this has confused uh, a lot of people over the journey. Um, you know, each license comes with at least one upgrade um, the, up to the 2000 size uh, license. You're, you're receiving basically a doubling of the cycles uh, with a 10% bonus. And as I mentioned earlier, that bonus is going to be uh, removed over the next, and we're not sure what date, but it will be removed uh, sometime soon. So again, another point to raise uh, for either you as, as an upgrading an upgrader of your license or someone coming in new uh, so the upgrade for let's say the first four licenses is a doubling on the five thousand twelve and a half thousand euro license it, it's there's two upgrades and on the president package it's three uh, now we could get down into the the technical explanation of all of that but essentially you know, for me, you know, when I explain to people, um, it's more about the more you spend, the more the more you get um, in the doubling process. Um, the, you're averaging your cost of entry uh, significantly when you get to the 2,000, 12.5 and 25K packages. Um, and so, uh, and a good example of that more recently was my brother who purchased a 25,000 euro license. Uh, he had a, a 500 manager license, so we, we upgraded that. Uh, he purchased uh, that for the equivalent of about 40,000 Australian dollars. Um, and almost immediately, um, he, was, he was seeing um, Dascoin being minted to his web wallet, and, and he could have uh, sold those, but he hasn't. He's going to keep them, of course. So he's got 200,000 plus DAS coins coming to him over the next um, period of time. And that's a function of the upgrade period, which is currently 108 days. So if you've got like a him, a president license where there's three upgrades, you've got to wait, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, a number of um, upgrade periods before you get all of your DAS coin. So I just thought we could start with kind of what the official uh, explanation is of those terms so that it's on record again this is this is the second time I've presented on these on this topic there are many other resources out there that um, you can go to that can explain uh, or, or, or go through a similar explanation so I'm going to now cut back to uh, where will I need to go now to clear my screen. Um, I've been publishing these sessions on my page, so, uh, and they're coming up in, should be coming up in the, I guess, the public feeds of, of friends of mine. So watch out for them. As I said, they're happening every second day or so. So <clears throat> what I'd like to do now, um, and it's, again, this may not take a long time, but um, we can go back to the audience. Um, so those of you that want to ask questions, pop into uh, this session and and let's have a look at that. So, Doug, is there anything that you're seeing in, uh, in this that is either new for you the first time or uh, is this all fairly clear? No, that's uh, all pretty good. That's good. I've, I've been with uh, NetLeaders about the same time as you, actually, so. Oh, very was, good. Yeah. Okay, um, Metin, are you there? <clears throat> I'm here, Wayne. Yeah. Um, yeah. Look, I mean that that stuff, you know, is is fairly simple. But I thought even for people coming back into the recording, um, they've got an opportunity to one hear it again and and sure. try, and find the right place to get the right information. What's your thoughts on that? Absolutely. I think it's um, you know, there's a lot of people have, uh, tend to be vague about yeah. what's really going on. Yeah. They bought their licenses and stuff like that. So I think what you're doing is 
is, is you know, admirable. Um, and uh, yeah, this, this is the absolute place to come to find out the correct information. Um, but again, all, you know, look at look at the, the you know the reputable sites out there. Um, you know, be part of reputable groups, and uh, you know, speak to people like yourself. And you know, if, if people are struggling with information, then uh, come come to us. You know, we'll always help out. Yeah, look, it, it's it, some of these sessions can be a bit intimidating, and people are reluctant to kind of jump into a Zoom session, and and uh, you know, pops their face, and they, you know, um, because it can be a bit high level. Um, I don't mean that mean to be disrespectful to anybody, but I find that sometimes when when people are coming into these Zoom sessions who've been around a while, they know a lot about this, but people are sitting back either watching, maybe wanting to, you know, buy a license and and they <laughs> do struggle with some of the terms and the concepts, don't ask the question. So over the next, as I said, the next uh, five weeks, um, here's a place you can come. It's a safe place and uh, we can have a conversation about uh, a very basic term or a complicated one. So I do really want uh, this video or this zoom session and the recording of it to be shared around which i'll do over the next day before the next zoom meeting which uh is on sunday for me uh but i just think this is a, there, there's a place for this type of, of zoom session so that you can kind of come in you don't have to join every one of these i mean once you see the topic you um you can pop in and um and, and contribute or or learn or, or get pointed to the right direction or in the right direction absolutely okay uh, I shared this um, with Doug uh, last oh, well on when was it Wednesday and it's just a quick um, presentation a PowerPoint presentation of, of what's going on here uh, and, and as you can see, I just call it a 2020 kind of Q&A, 20 minutes of me um, with some content and, and basically 20 minutes available for Q&As. The reason it's got to be 40 minutes is I've got to take kids to school. So that's kind of what's driving that. Um, the topics that we're going to cover, and I'll cross them out as we go through, um, and we'll add more if people want to add more, but this is the sort of line we're going to take. Um, for the website, so I do encourage people to take a look at. Um, these are my list. There's probably many, many more, but I think people should, uh, and tell me if, if there's some really good quality websites that people should know about, let me know. Um, the Facebook groups that uh, should be, um, they should be part of, if they are either in, the, in um, you know, with a net leases license or are looking to, to um, to talk to people about them, this is where you go. And so I do encourage everyone that's seeing this uh, recording for the first time to, um, to join them. Um, some of these are mine, uh, some of them are other people that are either, um, that I know and trust. So come on board and have a look at those. Um, and to the bottom, there's some YouTube videos um, or, or channels to see. And I do encourage you to, I mean, it's, it's, I know it's a bit painful having to watch a lot of this stuff, but if you subscribe, um, get the bell ringing, you know, you're going to see when people come on uh, and if it's a topic you're interested in, uh, either watch it live or, you know, um, uh, when it's posted up or we'll come back and watch it. I have to kind of do that, you know, after work or um, over the weekend, but there, there's some great people that have put a lot of time into into this and they're very passionate about it and uh, so I'm I'm so pleased to be part of a group of people that 99% uh, of them are just straight up and down good people uh, all of these people I have met and and I trust and that's basically one of the key elements of the das coin organization it's a it's a chain of trust from the top to the bottom um, and uh, I'm pretty pleased to you know to be part of that. Uh, I mentioned some marketing tools. Have a look at that. It's a mate of mine, Ed Keat, who's a um, colleague of well, a compatriot of yours. Met. Uh, he's based in Japan. I don't know whether you know Ed, but um, good guy. So if you're into list building and you know capture pages and all that sort of marketing stuff, he's the guy to go to. 
And the other thing I see, or I use uh, these websites for daily information. Uh, and the last thing I wanted to show was the Alexa rating for Dascoin.com. And we're going we're gonna to track that over the next five weeks to see if some of the marketing and PR around uh, the event starts to pull this number down. Uh, it's, as I've said earlier, it's a, it's a rating of popularity and site hits and, and so on. And as, as I've mentioned um, earlier, you know, the top three, are, you know, Google, Dascoin and Facebook. Um, we're not, obviously not going to be competing in that space, but we certainly want to be, you know, in that top 100,000 websites or less. Um, that's just in, indicative of what, uh, of the interest shown in Dascoin. So with that, I will um, I'll conclude the, the, the session, unless anyone else has anything else to say. Um, I still want, I want to keep these short and sharp. And um, once we start to build an audience, I'm sure there'll be more interaction. So with that, unless you guys have got anything else to say, I'm, uh, I'm going to end if this is around, well, seven o'clock. And I'll post this up for um, others to watch a bit later on. Okay. How are you off uh, off to to work, Doug? Or are you sitting back and um, enjoying the rest of the morning? <laughs> no, um, I'll be looking at this because I've still got some work to do with yep. uh, the net leaders. So. Oh, okay, well, if you need any help with that, just uh, give me a shout. I met, yeah. so it's your evening now, so uh, you're ready to tuck yourself into bed? Oh, yeah, you bet. Okay. <laughs> One more beer. <laughs> <laughs> all right oh, mate okay thanks uh for coming on appreciate that and i'll catch you up um uh we'll certainly catch you up again in uh, london uh Metin, and um we will uh do it all again do the zurich thing again eh thoroughly look forward to it mate great content and uh well done for all this it's really good stuff okay um okay Thank you. see you then see you guys bye take care